Hi there, and welcome back to Stubbs Aquatics. It's road trip time with my best buddy Darren in his 1966 Ford Mustang. How much trouble can these two guys get into going to look for ponds? A lot. I mean, a lot. So, just to be safe, our wives went with us to check out the sites in the area, and of course, to check out some ponds as well. Darren and I are pond nerds. We had to check out Elora, Ontario, being the hometown of the famous Sandor Palm. We did check out a nice pond place near Lista Well, uh, Creative Ponds. Now they do mainly aquascape ponds, which, you know, either you love them or you don't. Uh, this is a really nice uh, feature pond. I wish it was deeper, but it sure is beautiful and really well landscaped with uh, some amazing falls. It really is breathtaking and what a beautiful spot. Wish I had the area to build a pond this big. Then and then, <laughs> I'm sure my wife's glad we don't. But you can sure enjoy this and it certainly gives you some ideas. Going through their facility, you know, was was a great relaxing time. We use it as a mini vacation and, you know, it was just a great time to spend with friends, uh, especially when you enjoy the same hobby. This uh, pond in particular is just filled with common goldfish. I guess they don't want to feed the herons the expensive fish, which are inside the uh, greenhouse facility. Which is really amazing spot. I mean, I was I was pretty impressed with the uh, what what all they had inside. Well, come on, let's have a look see, and I'm sure that you'll enjoy it. They've certainly done up some beautiful streams and ponds within the uh, greenhouse. You know, for all sides backyard. Again, it's an aquascape design. So, like I said, you know, you either love them or you don't. But they did create some beautiful streams, and I really like this setup here. Uh, really natural look, uh, with uh, including a dock and a deck, you know, where you'd have your morning coffee and just enjoy the sights and sounds. They had some uh, pond grade uh, koi inside. As far as uh, koi for sale, they sold out months ago, which is typical in Canada and they don't keep them all year round. But again, really gives you some great ideas what to change on your pond or add to your pond. Don't worry dear, I'm not adding some pond. Well not really. But I do love the, the use of the rocks and the uh, live plants around it. Loved it so much, bought some ground cover to add around the pond. And some Beautiful flowers to go out front. Well, lots of fun at a koi place and we had a great time. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone, for watching this relatively short video. Remember to hit that like button, think about subscribing, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thanks again. We'll see you real soon. Bye for now.